What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the video. Welcome. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Uh, today, me and Adam are going through our 2021 uh, most anticipated games that we are looking forward to. Um, this is the Good Games Podcast. I am your host, Justin Harold, and with me, as always, my co-host, Adam Issa. And, you know, we, we've been kind of thinking about this for a while now. We, we got past the Game Awards, and, you know, a couple things come out during the Game Awards, and uh, now we, we kind of have an idea of what 2021 is going to hold for us. So, Adam, okay. how you doing, my brother? I'm good. You know, I like thinking about new games, about what's going to come out uh, and, you know, what uh, maybe going to be enjoying for the next year. So I also know that no matter how much we predict, usually these lists never include uh, the games, like the kind of surprises like Hades, uh, mm -hmm. stuff like that, where it's like they kind of come out of nowhere and take the world by storm. Hades is a different exception because it was really access. But, uh, you know, so I'm interested to look ahead at these sort of bigger games. Also very interested to see what kind of crazy smaller stuff comes out. Absolutely. And so, you know, I mean, a lot of this stuff for me, I picked like probably the bigger games, obviously, because those are the most uh, wider known games. But for me, when I was going like through this list, um, I didn't really need to like go back and watch um, too many like trailers or anything for like how I wanted to do this list. Ma mainly, I was just picking like one is like my most anticipated game and 10 is like the game that um, I'm anticipating with like thoughts about like oh like is this gonna do well it looks cool is it gonna do well kind of thoughts yeah. and so it kind of like progresses into that like oh like and i'll give my reasoning for each one of course and you will too so yeah but again this is gonna be like another this is our second time doing kind of like a, a list, list thing so second time in a row yeah oh yeah. no the content no i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> but uh i'm looking forward to seeing what you got i think like we probably have a couple of similarities in there somewhere, but uh, oh, I mean, I know we do. Um, you, for sure. you, but before before we get started with this, uh, do you have any honorable mentions? That's a good question. Uh, like games. So games what I like, consider honorable mentions is games that I'm pretty sure I don't know if they'll come out in 2021. But if I knew, I would put them on the list, which yeah. is just Breath of the Wild two. It's Breath of the Wild two, um, and all the Smash DLC. Because gotcha. realistically, that makes me more hype than almost every other every, any game that comes out. I love Smash DLC, but uh, yeah. Other than that, like, I don't know. I think uh, I'm very excited for what's coming, but I don't know. I also haven't seen a ton that is going to blow me away yet. I don't think. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, I think there will be a couple games that blow me away, but I don't think it's going to be the the breadth of games. Yeah. Well, so we'll see. We'll see. I think there's a lot of like this year, like 2020 had a lot of games that we knew going into it um, that like, you know, have high reputation or like in a way, like have developers behind them that really like kind of popped out. Like you had your Ghost of Tsushima, your yeah. um, The we Last of Us Dog, Part 2. Yeah. Yeah. We had id. We, like, like everybody made We had CD Project FF7 Red. R, we had CD Project R, Red. <laughs> we had CD Project Red. We had id. We had, like, everybody was made, Moon, Studios. I mean, even Halo was supposed to come out. Like, this year would have been, if, if everything landed the way it was supposed to, this right. year would have been insane. Like, if Halo had actually come out, if yeah. uh, one of the games on my list that was supposed to, two of the games on my list that were supposed to come out came out, like, this would have been a really bonkers year. But uh, I'm glad, you know, spread some love to 2021 that way. Uh, yeah, so. absolutely. So I had, like... And this was just like this was like in my list at number one because mm -hmm. uh, when you hear it, you know, Your like mention, it's yeah. just yeah. My honorable mention for this is uh, whatever Pokemon game comes out for uh, the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Oh, okay, interesting. So like, I know that there's nothing announced, but yeah. in the in the anniversary of Pokemon, they will either drop a DLC, another DLC for Sword and Shield. Uh, I'm pretty sure the rumor is there's a potential Detective Pikachu two coming to the Switch. Yeah um there could be the Sinnoh remakes that i yep. like that's the game like where i probably like in terms of pokemon like i knew pokemon for a good long while and that's like my most in-depth pokemon it's my favorite region and all that um and then there's the potential for like another let's go which i really like i don't think they'd release a let's go without like releasing something else that like would also be kind of big but yeah. yeah, I know for a fact that like on the 25th anniversary, like the day of, they'll announce 
some game that will come out in 2021. But yeah. that was just like something I had in there. On the back of that, I'll say Nintendo will release games in 2021. I have no idea what they are, but when they release them, I'll be there day and day. Like, like it could Wild. be Bayonetta 3. It could be Breath of the Wild. Like, we really don't know. They've, they've been very quiet. Yeah. Um, which is kind of why I felt maybe maybe that's a big reason why I felt 2020 was a bit eh. Because like I mean Origami King was dope, but like there wasn't um, a, Super, other than Animal Crossing. Uh, didn't they there was the a Super Mario um they did, but like those were less those are just kind of like ports as much yeah, as ports. like they were not remasters. Yeah. So I'm very interested to see what they come out with. I know that we have the 3D World Deluxe or whatever coming, but uh yeah. Whatever they whatever new original thing they have coming out with. Other than No More Heroes 3, because I'm like kind of eh on No More Heroes, I'm very excited about so. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, well, with honorable mentions out of the way, uh, you want to get started or you want me to start? I, you started time? last time, so I feel like I should start this time. Awesome, uh, go for it. Number 10, we know nothing 10. about this game, but it's supposed to be coming out this year. I'm going to take State of Decay 3. Mm. And that's just because State of Decay is goofy fun with friends. Uh, like, if, if they can actually iron out the bugs this time, make it like a solid game, I love all the mechanics and the core conceit of State of Decay. I played a lot of State of Decay too. Uh, it's just fun. It's just fun to run around with friends and do that loop uh, and survive. And like, if you really want a like really hardcore survival game, and you max out all the settings in uh, State of Decay two, that's like a great survival game. So I'm very excited to see what they do with State of Decay three. Uh, you know, I also want to see some sort of Xbox exclusive. You know, actually be very good and uh, you know. Uh, take a big chunk of my time so looking forward to state of decay 3 could be good could be bad but excited nonetheless yeah this is a game um <clears throat> you got me to buy originally with state of decay 2 i'm not too huge into that but i could under i could get like behind it again if like i feel like when i play those games to start they're never really like interesting but like mm -hmm. the further it's like a game that kind of keeps on uh updating itself sometimes and um with you like you were saying it's kind of like a co-op experience and yeah. um kind sort of, like of this... make your own stories in that game as much as there is a story you know right. like you get your characters and you do stuff with them and that's that's where the real fun comes from yeah gotcha um my number 10 is outriders mm -hmm. um so that was that was the only game that i had to like relook up uh, when I was going through and looking through games and everything about like what is it really and like what kind of game it is and it's it's projected as a RPG co-op game. Um, it's a looter when, shooter. <laughs> yeah, but when you look at it, it looks like it plays um, like that one Tom Clancy game that I, every time I, I bring it up, Division. It's, yeah, it looks like it plays like Division Two, um, which really interests me. Plus, with the RPG uh, mechanics and all that, which I'm always a huge fan of. So that's just one um co-op kind of game that i have yeah. if, if it does well good it yeah. looks really cool like the cutscenes in it look really well done people um, can fly the developer are their their gameplay mechanically they're brilliant like their games always play so smooth play so great we'll see about the story we'll see about right. the other stuff but like i know that like at least playing that game for a couple hours would be like a worthwhile uh, thing it's just whether like all these games is it worth investing hours and hours and hours like they want you to? So it's like, uh, it's that kind of thing. Right, right, right. Yeah, it'll be interesting. It's just like one of those games that I have on here for the idea of playing multiplayer and co-op with friends. So, but yeah, yeah, that's what I Same got. Same with State of Decay. There you go. The 10 spot is the co-op. Uh, yeah. It's the co-op spot. <laughs> I think there's a, I think there's a there's one more game in there. It's immediately for me, but I think it's in there for you as well. That's coming up. That's also a co-op game. But mm -hmm. uh, I'll let you I'll let you go yeah, ahead with a, yours. That's a different story. I know what you're talking about. Uh, number nine is The Ruined King. I think it's been a long time for me since I've played. By the way, if nobody knows The Ruined King, it's the League of Legends story game. Mm -hmm. I love the universe of League of Legends um, more than I love League of Legends as a game, to be honest. And I'm very excited to see them do the single player game. Um, I'm in very intrigued by the story. This is a story that if you've been following any League of Legends lore is something that so many people have been fascinated with for the better part of a decade is uh, the Ruined King and the Blade of the Ruined King and all these, you know, the things that this story potentially connects to um and see what happened to the, the blessed isles but i also am just really craving another uh good turn-based rpg in the vein of those old final fantasy games 
And this could very well be that um, because the Airship Syndicate is really good at these things. The art looks incredible. I love all the characters who are in it. Uh, that first trailer, that cinematic trailer looked really cool. Uh, the gameplay looked about what I'd expect, which is really good because it's a turn-based RPG. So it's like, okay, just, you know, just nail that and you're good. And then, so I'm really ex just excited to play the story, get into it, uh, learn some more about League and have a connection to League of Legends that doesn't make me play League of Legends as much because that game's toxic. No, uh, <laughs> that game's very fun, but the people are toxic. So it's like, uh, yeah, but that, I'm very excited for that game. Uh, very excited to play when it comes out. Is, so is that a second, like uh, you said, it's like a turn-based RPG game. Is that the mm -hmm. second of its kind or you said it's following a story? It is following a story in the League universe. Okay. And how does that like- It's hard to get into if you don't like okay. super- like if you're not, but, but, but the point is there's an item in the game that's been in the game forever. It's called Blade of the Ruined King. Okay. And everybody was like, who is the Ruined King? And he's always been hinted at, but uh, we're finally going to get to see the Ruined King, get to learn his story, get to learn what happened to him. And then also like, we're going to get more time with characters like Ari and Yasuo and Brahm and Alawi and Misfortune and Pike. Point is, it's going to be fun. Uh, it like League of Legends as a game doesn't have any story, but there's a mm -hmm. universe that is built around it that has a lot of story that if you want, you could go look for it. And that's basically what this game is. So good to see some fun stuff uh, coming out of that because it's been a long time and I feel like they could have done this ages ago, but they finally decided now's the time. So that's fine. I'm in. Gotcha. Gotcha. That sounds fun. I like that, yeah. that they're going to, you know, I like games that like really delve into, uh, kind of like the lore because of its fans and everything so it yeah. sounds like it should be a good time and everything i know that you use uh league for kind of a way to de-stress sometimes so hopefully that'll be uh another oh, avenue did. those days are gone <laughs> those <laughs> days are gone yeah no those days are it was that but now it's gone it's dead yeah it's no. just pain spain uh, <laughs> except without the us yeah, exactly <laughs> all right Found so for... villa there <laughs> yeah so for my number nine, um, I got Deathloop. Deathloop is a so weird, low. yeah. <laughs> like Deathloop for me is is a game that it seems really interesting, but I don't really know what it is to be honest. Like they show it's arcane, but it's like Dishonored. The the, the oh I love. But it's like a multiplayer version of Dishonored, which is it like sort of. I think the multiplayer stuff is optional. It's like Dark Souls. Right, but it seems like it does. Like the there's the story isn't really a story. It's like you you have an objective, mm -hmm. and you just try to repeat doing that. Like you you'll fail multiple times in doing mm -hmm. it, and um, I feel like it's it's optimized if you play with a friend or something. No, the only time the friend kills you. Right. The second character kills you. Right, but that's the whole point of this game. Is like you you go. Even if you don't have a friend, there's someone still hunting you down. Yes. And it's like so Dark Souls. It's like Dark Souls. So the point is like, I guess from what I understand is it's like Groundhog Day, where if you die, well, not like Groundhog Day. It's like a roguelike where you're going to get more stuff, more upgrades as you go through the game and do it. So the point is you could do it in one run. You beat the game in one run. Um, and I assume that a person, like if, if you were playing it, I'm like, F you. And I'm just going right. to come into your game and kill you. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then but, you it'll reset your loop. Hmm. Yeah. It's less of it's less of like to me. It's like you have a start point and you have an end point. Yeah. And it's like you're not supposed to get to that end point because of the person that you're supposed to be playing with or that you're, um, you know, the AI is or whatever. Like if you I think get it's to a roguelike. But it's not like it's like I don't, it's been, I don't think it's been but it doesn't it does not look like a hades game or like an ori game well ori and hades are not the same kind of game um, like it's like hades and dead cells okay where if you Different. if you die you start at the beginning huh and, well, like, and does... the point is that as you progress you get more stuff you get better and then from there you try and beat the game in one go the whole point is like oh you're, you have to kill all seven of these people or whatever. Right. You have to do it in one run without dying. Yes. That's the point of the game. But And then there's a secondary option that I'm almost certain you'll be able to turn off if you really want of the Lilith, I believe her name is, or something like that, trying to kill you on the island that your friend can be. Right. If, if they choose to be. They can invade, sort of like Dark Souls. So, yes, the game, I think it's confusing. Right. 
and that's like my thing like i don't know what it is it seems like it could be a lot of fun if like listen if i'm lilith and i'm trying to hunt you down that sounds really fun if it's the other way around uh it'll still be really fun it'll just be really annoying because i know how good you are at video games and i'm gonna kill so. i'm gonna kill you don't I'll, you know uh, it's just arcade well i'll talk about more i will talk about this more later when yeah, i talk about it, got it <laughs> yeah. so but yeah oh, i have it <laughs> it's just like in in terms of this list it's just like one of those games where like if it does well good but if it doesn't I like so. i don't know yeah so but uh yeah what's your what's your eight the microsoft published ps5 exclusive Oh, Final Fantasy Summer Remake? No, no, no. That's what Deathloop is. Oh. It's a Microsoft-owned PS5 exclusive. Oh. It's a Bethesda game. (laughs) Isn't that bonkers? Um, Right. I forgot about that. Yeah, because the deals were made before they sold. Uh, Mine's Skywalker Saga. Um, Oh. It's going to be great. I know we're going to talk about this more later, but yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's new. It's a reinvention of the the Lego games, which I think needed to be a little bit fresher. Uh, needed a new coat of paint and that's what this is and it's with star wars and it's all the games so like duh it's gonna be yeah. amazing um i think i think the only reason it's low is because it's like a known quantity in that yeah. sense like even 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 though it's gonna be sort of new it's still seven of the nine parts of it i guess are stuff we've seen before in video games even in lego so it's like yeah, eight through that's... three on my list are kind of how i define what you're talking about it's like they're known quantity games but i'm still like really um anticipating them and you know um you know looking forward to them so my is ratchet and clank rift apart Mm -hmm. everyone knows that there's a like how many like five plus there's more than five plus because there's psp versions and there's all throughout a lot of playstation generation games um i can't remember the last one i played the last one i played they really tried to sell the um like the plain point of ratchet is one character and clank is another another. and that one was a long time ago i want to say it was probably back in the ps3 days i know the one i played was ratchet and clank the last one i played was ratchet and clank the reboot yeah and so and who knows what's going on in that story yeah of always but it's a known quantity but it's been so long that i played a ratchet and clank game that i'm really looking forward to it coming out sort of the uh, first true next gen game as far as i can tell like one that's built for the tech with the ssd and the demos we saw which i mean it's gonna be it could just be like a tech demo but like mm -hmm. still fascinated to see like what they're gonna pull off of that yeah and you know it'll it could be a mixed bag of like if it's good or not but i do look forward yeah. to it no matter what so that's number yeah. eight i mean it'll me. be cool and it'll be very pretty and insomniac has only had hits. it looked very pretty they've only had hits since xbox one launched yeah they but... did sunset they did spider-man they did Miles Around. like they're 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 going bonkers um yeah. so that's your number eight my number seven is horizon forbidden west Ooh. I do not like Horizon as much as everybody else. I know this is probably on your list, uh, so <laughs> we'll talk about it more later. It I don't like Horizon as much as everybody else, but I'm still very excited for those folks, those great folks at Guerrilla Games to give me a reason to like Horizon more than I do. Uh, I, th- I think the first game's good. I don't think it's great. So I, I do want to see something great from this franchise, and I think Forbidden West could easily be that. Um, and I think it, as long as this cues off of some of the open world design philosophies that have risen in the past couple years i.e breath of the wild and that more free form um design of an open world the more open i guess open world the less restrictive one i think this game could be really something special uh the world's awesome uh, aloy's a great character um i just had more problems with the core i guess mechanics of the game as much as everything else so i'm just really excited to see more of this game the other things we haven't seen anything of it so i don't Right. And I and the only taste I have is those last games, so I'm a little like, we'll yeah. see what happens. Yeah, right. I remember. I think we swapped. Like uh, you gave me Uncharted, and I. Oh gave yeah, you, you have my Uncharted. Horizon. I have your Horizon. Yeah. So, but I, I, yeah, you know, we'll be talking about that later on in the yeah. list because of yeah. mine. But uh, number seven for me, um, surprise, Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. <laughs> okay, so they were close. They were. Close. Yeah, they were really close. Um the reason why it's above ratchet and clank is even though it's a known quantity uh i know this game's gonna be good and i yeah. i just like it's like, gonna be one games of, not really it's just gonna be really fun and that's about it it's star wars and it's legos so 
Yeah. And I mean, honestly, like from what they're saying about the game, it's going to be awesome. Like the, the fact that it sounds like it's a deeper combat system. It's not just boring button mashing. Um, Didn't they try to redo it with the force awakens game and it didn't work out so well or something like that? Redo is a very generous word for what they did. There were sections of cover based shooting where you had basically no control of the character and rather Mm -hmm. just control of the, reticle so yeah. it almost came off like an old arcade shooter like a like a like one of those old resident evil cabinet games at like a dave and busters um yeah i mean i think they will maybe wanted to do this with force awakens but push that game out the door in that sense but yeah this sounds like like a real not that the lego games aren't real games but they never really had solid combat this one sounds like it has real so, like a real solid gameplay loop which yeah. is very um exciting yeah, for, for this franchise because it needs it. It needs it a lot. Yep. Well, that's my seven. So now we got <laughs> two of those out. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm interested to see where one of our games lands for you, but go ahead with your six. Six is Hitman 3. Oh, okay, okay. Hitman, awesome. It's amazing. And this is more Hitman. Like, I, I know I said that the Skywalker saga is a known quantity, but like, this is really a known quantity, but the game is so good that I don't care. Uh, <laughs> like, Ultimately, I know Hitman 3 is just going to be more maps, but from what they've teased so far, it sounds awesome. I'm very, very excited. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Like these games are some of the most enjoyable and replayable games that have come out uh, that came out last generation. So having more is good. Um, You know, quantity and quality can both happen at the same time. And that's basically what's going to happen with Hitman 3. So (laughs) I'm just very excited for more Hitman. I hear you. I'm also actually shockingly into the story so far. Like I get, like I'm actually like anticipating seeing what happens, which is for this kind of game, not something I would have expected. So, yeah, I remember really liking the last kind of like, like fleshed out Hitman game. I don't remember. I don't remember what the title was, but um, it's the one. uh, I don't. I don't know how to like talk about without spoiling it. But like, it has full fledged like. map areas and everything it's the one where like the the trailer is filled with the nuns and everything and all yeah, that stuff. Uh, 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 i think it's retribution yeah that sounds right that sounds retribution right. or blood money those were the last two before the reboot i think it's retribution but yeah, yeah. hitman's always a fun game yeah i think it's a quality game for the most part so um but and for the, me the sandbox kind of design has been They've, they've knocked it out of the park. I always knocked it out of the park. I feel like I'm not talking about these games enough. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, I mean, we can absolutely get into it more if you no, want no, no, to. They, they, no, no, no. They, they knocked it out of the park. I, I just feel like I'm like, I need to get to the end. I need to get the game. Yeah. I really care about. I care about Hitman 3, but like, yeah. Uh, they knocked it out of the park. I'm amped for more. Um, yeah. Okay. Not yeah. much more. Not much else to say. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. My number six, um, another surprise, Horizon Forbidden West. Okay. Um it's 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 up there for me mainly because of i the opposite of adam in terms of i really liked uh the story i really liked the mystery kind of and finding more finding more finding out more of the world um i liked how aloy really felt like a stranger to everything that was happening um even though you know she knew the most about the whole situation but had to kind of convey that towards people who didn't have as much knowledge and such or understanding yeah yeah well also finding people who um were kind of following a a sentient being that was you know leading them into the cultist kind of area and so i'm interested to see how they carry over um the story a lot um because the gameplay the gameplay is going to be interesting yeah it's it's there's a couple of games on here where I know the gameplay might not change a whole lot. And um, I'm interested to see if it, it, if it can for horizon, but I don't think it will with a lot of these games. I just don't see the combat changing. And it's not, that's not a bad thing. Cause I like the combat in horizon. So I think I'm very interested more than anything to see the new environments. Yeah. Like the sort of, tropical stuff that we've been teased in screenshots those like beaches and stuff like that i'm very interested to see that stuff i think it'll be really cool yeah and that's more than anything like just a fresh coat of paint for that kind of thing because it's like i thought it was cool but then it was like okay there's desert and then there's snowy and then there's trees and it's like whoa dude 
that's all you're getting and i'm like hell yeah no uh but yeah uh i'm I'm just i'm just interested to see the different kind of biomes and the creatures that they have uh in this game so right and did they have i don't think they did they had like crocodiles or like alligators they had crocodiles yeah um but like i wonder like you know we saw the turtle the turtle the snapping turtle in the new one we saw a snapping turtle in the new one yeah we see that she's going to be diving and stuff so yeah um, it'll be interesting to see how that'll work and you know if they got like sharks robot yeah. sharks Ooh. that'd be crazy robot megalodons oh my god sounds megalodons. more accurate uh but it's gonna be interesting it's absolutely. gonna be very interesting absolutely so now we're getting into the top five top five top five, top five. what do you got resident evil 8 Oof. it's resident evil i want to see what happens with chris i want to see what happens with the weird werewolves i want to see what happens to ethan First person Resident Evil is good. I don't like it as much as the new third person Resident Evil, uh, like the scary third person Resident Evil. Even though I, I actually really love Resident Evil Five, it has a special place in my heart. Um, I'm very excited for when we maybe get a new Resident Evil game in the style of RE2 remake and RE3 remake. But mm-hmm. for the time being, I'm still very excited for uh, RE8 and what it's going to look like and what it's going to be because I hear it's a very big departure from the series, and I think that that could be very interesting it could fall on its face but it could be very interesting so i want to see more chris i want to see what weapons there's a witch there's all these things that they've seen in these leaks and stuff so it's it's kind of good that we're moving away from i guess just zombies and stuff and moving into this weird fantastical elements and i'm and i'm just excited to see them uh love resident evil <laughs> yeah it's just a game that didn't make my list i'm not a huge yeah. first of all i haven't played any of the remakes which i i do want to get to at some point but like i i've watched like the newer kind of resident evils and stuff um where it's the first person stuff and i'm not really like it's more of like a like a kind of like a jump scare game to me now than it is anything else and like i don't know i'm not just like i wasn't huge into resident evil before um I don't know that I'd be able to get into it without playing the other Resident Evils first. So, kind of is a good jumping on point because it's kind of like a a brand new start. Yeah, a little bit. Although I don't, there's characters that are coming back for eight that'll be like you know, yeah. So with Chris and everything. It's yeah, it's hard. I mean, Resident Evil's great, and I recommend everybody play it. But uh, uh, yeah, no. But I'm I'm just I love Resident Evil like a lot. Yeah. Like we did the episode and Resident Evil three is kind of like a, it's a good game, but it almost made my top uh, six of the year because I just, how much I loved playing it and the environment and the atmosphere and the characters. So a uh, nemesis, but yeah, we'll see. So I'm just, I'm just interested to see another chapter in this Resident Evil book. Um, Cause I know we're still getting four remakes. So ultimately, even if this disappoints, I know we're like, we're going to get more, we're going to get some cool stuff. Um, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Well, number five for me is one that is a beloved, beloved game. Not even game. Games. Uh, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I knew this uh, was going to be on there. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it, but I knew this was going to be on there. I, I couldn't put it higher than, uh, than the other games because after this, a lot of the games are like, there's some sort of question there for me in terms of like, What's the quality going to be like? What are they going to do? Like it, a lot of like intrigue for me, which is mass with Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I know what I'm getting, except yes. I haven't seen what the actual, you know, one is the big is the big question for me. What is one going to look like? And what is one going to play Doo-doo, like? No. <laughs> and Doo-doo, is it going to, is one going to be like what they have for one? Is that going to be the standard for two and three? Because it should be. Because it wouldn't make sense if they're going to do a whole remaster and you jump from one to two to three and two they look worse and looks worse and different worse. or three what looks game different. was like that mafia mafia was like that the mafia remakes yeah. yeah and so um all three of those games good games um mass effect one could be like pole vaulted into a higher ranking for me if it plays and looks a lot better than what it originally was so I'm that's worried. Why it's at five for me. I'm worried that they're not going to do much to it. That's my only issue. And is it's that, just like a thing that it can port over to the Xbox Series yeah. X. That would be upsetting. I but some part of me is like, 
but I can just do that now do. is my thing. Yeah, like, you're not wrong. So we'll see what happens. I one better play. Di- I'm not playing one again if it mm-hmm. plays bad. That game is like that game when when people talk about games aging, that yeah. game's aged. That right. game's really aged. Like the story is brilliant. The villain is probably one of the best in the yep. trilogy, to be honest. Sarah. But yeah, but like. Ooh, doggy i do not yeah. wanna, i do not want to slog through that game if it's uh if it plays like like it did back in what 2007 yeah my other hope is like i don't know that they're gonna give any they're not gonna do i saw like a video like because it pops up on my youtube sometimes of like oh what are five things we want in the legendary edition and it's like I, the only thing i really like want is like for either dialogue lines to be added or dialogue lines to be taken out because there is straight up a dialogue line in one that just does not like does not <laughs> deserve to be in video games. It's the dumbest line ever, <laughs> and it totally makes me hate the character. Tell, tell general, us, come on. It's it's the it's the um, Ashley Williams line where um, God, it's something that having it's it's something in the realm of having to do with like if a soldier is given an order to put down a dog. Or something like that. Or no, it's like it's it's something like this. It's it's like if you have to pick be- uh, of like defending your dog, um, if it it's this, if a bear attacks you, if a bear attacks you, you stick your dog on them to get away. I'm like, what? I'm like, no, <laughs> like absolutely not. Like, I, my, I'm carrying my dog out of there or something. Um, I can look that line up, but like it's something it's something relating something to stupid. a dog and like sacrificing the dog. I'm like, oh, fuck, fuck this. I'm out. Yeah. Like, I don't know what you're going on about, but like, no, I'm out. no dog death and no dog death on my watch. <laughs> yeah. So but I know what I'm getting with Mass Effect. Um, and I'm hoping for the best with it. So yeah, that's why it's at five. Everything past four is something that I am truly looking forward to talking about and seeing moving forward so yeah like 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 death loop <laughs> is death loop number four <laughs> death loop is my number four uh, <laughs> no um arcane is brilliant arcane is one of in my opinion the most underrated game devs of last gen i think what they did with dishonored the first game uh was brilliant innovative so fun gorgeous all of it um I think Dishonored 2 is that game, but with even more player choice, more evolved, the fact that there's different, like the fact that you can play the game and have half, like have different power sets just based on who you choose at the beginning makes the game so much more interesting, um, makes it so highly replayable. And then there's Prey, which was this dramatic re envisioning of an old, like cult classic. And like they've shown me that they know what they're doing basically at every step of the way and death loop looks so fun so creative um i'm you're right it's still a little confusing what exactly death loop is uh i with the way i see it i see it as this giant roguelike um that has dark souls e multiplayer elements i know that people hate oh it's like dark souls with this but um i don't know like the characters i'm already i'm already in love with the main character um from death loop i don't know his name but he's fun and <laughs> i love the voice actor lee from uh, uh what's it called oh, the walking dead. dead um and i don't know the gunplay looks awesome the powers look awesome it looks like just it looks like arcane going all out with a more actiony game i know that's maybe less of what people want if they were more into the stealth stuff of of dishonored but the fact of the matter is i think they'll knock it out of the park it'll be amazing and i honestly think that the only reason that this isn't higher is because there's great, like insane games. But I think when it comes down to it at the end of the year, this will easily probably be, um, I, I have a, I have a strong feeling about this being in the top five of the games of the year. I just, I really am excited for this game. I think Arcane's going to sort of just break it big here. And finally people are going to give them the respect that they deserve. So. Yeah. It's an interesting game for sure. I like, I, it's just like the reason why it's so low for me is like, I just don't know exactly what it is and like it says it's an action adventure game but like um, we know it's act every game an action adventure, adventure yeah. game <laughs> and so i'm interested like when you bring up it's a rogue like a, like if you die and you get set back and you're supposed to get better and better with each attempt like i know that's part of it already but i didn't know that like explicitly it was going to be like that i thought it was like each time you go through is like a new run no yeah well 
that wouldn't make sense because you got to kill all of them. Right. But like, yeah, I don't know. There's like certain yeah. aspects of it that I was like, I didn't pick up when watching the trailers and we've seen it a couple of times now because it, you know, was mm-hmm. originally supposed to release. I think it was supposed to release at the end of this year, wasn't it? Or was it supposed to be like earlier check. 2021? But we've seen a, we've seen quite a bit of it. So, yeah, they, um, it was supposed to it was supposed to be a launch title. Yeah, but, uh, um, I believe so. But yeah, I mean, I can totally understand. I look forward to uh, playing it with you and everything. So yeah, it'll it'll be. See, I I also don't know what the co-op's going to be like because is it playing? I don't think it's co-op. I think it's gonna. I'm gonna walk into your world and ruin your day, <laughs> and you're gonna walk into my world and ruin my day. Like I legitimately think that's part of like just go that's incognito gonna be what, on Xbox yeah, or PlayStation. Uh, absolutely, and, I'm t- it, just... well, only PS5. But I'm I'm turning off. I'm turning off online. <laughs> I'm going to watch every time I'm going to be watching my phone, making sure every time you log on, it gives me a notification (laughs) and I'm just waiting there. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to kill you. So, I mean, exactly. That's it. So (laughs) a thousand yards away. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. So I'm very, very excited to see what that game. I mean, but it's also interesting not knowing what it is, honestly, like that's, that's invigorating from a, a studio that big or, and that prestigious to me to see something completely new because like that's what they did with dishonored like dishonored is oh dishonored was brilliant um and i'm and i'm still very excited for potentially more dishonored in the future but i really man those games are just excellent and arcane deserves so much more than they get those games should have sold 10 million copies each i don't know how much they sold but yeah point is play dishonored if you haven't play prey if you haven't i like dishonor more than i like prey but uh, and get excited for Deathloop in May. Absolutely. I don't know why the first Dishonored is not on Game Pass, but the second one is. It it's should kind be coming. Of, it was for a while. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, kind of upsetting, It'll be though. coming there. It, yeah. It'll be coming there. All the Bethesda games will get there in time. Yeah. So, number four. I know we're going to be talking about this game later. But, number four. Uh, God of War. Okay. Ragnarok. So, God of War is a very good game very very good game really like the um kind of what do you call it in in film this uh single shot the yeah it's just the the, the one take yeah yeah the one take kind of camera shot throughout the whole game um really like that uh wasn't a huge fan of atreus in this game uh until like the last uh i don't know two hours of it maybe or something like that. Adam shaking because he knows that he <laughs> sorry, hates that. Take. Sorry, I almost, I almost blacked out. Uh, I blacked out for a second there. Kratos is always badass and awesome. Love him. Yeah, he's um, from Fortnite. But it'll be interesting now to see. You know, um, we got something completely new in terms of the first God of War, and now it's going to be building off of that. So I'm interested to see. You know, what improvements do they make? Is there any change into the gameplay? Are we going to play as Atreus? Are we going to, you know? Um, we can ha- we kind of have a hint of what the story is going to be for it, but you know we also have uh, a bigger kind of like background story with Atreus and kind of like his future, and you know kind of see how that ticking time bomb kind of goes off. So um, there's a lot of intrigue there. I think my intrigue is more with the story because the gameplay of God of War is amazing. I don't see them really changing anything other than maybe allowing you to play as Atreus. So, God of War at number four for me. I know it's probably going to be. I stay my tongue until later. Yep. So, but that's number four. Now we're into the top three. All right. These three are all just very close together. Like, like, just like, just like this. Like, you know, they're just. I'm interested wrapped. because I feel like your top three is going to be like very, like, good. Like in terms of like hype, I guess. And my top three. Are you shit posting? Are you shit posting on this podcast? I'm just saying, man. Like, <laughs> you did you did it to me in the in the uh, in the other one. I'm just saying you're probably gonna outdo me again. Listen, so. no, 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 I'm not outdoing anybody. All hype is valid, but let's just say number three is Hollow Knight Silk Song. Okay. Holy moly, this game's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. Team Cherry, woo! They're like yacht club. They're brilliant. They're a great developer. Hollow Knight is one of the most underrated games of the past five six a million years no everybody should play hollow knight everybody who does play hollow knight okay underrated is like a weird i think it's the one of the most deserving to be played more i guess because everybody who plays it loves it um 
but I think more people just need to play it. Uh, Hollow Knight is brilliant. Hollow Knight is exquisite. Um, atmospheric, so fun to play, so atmospheric. difficult. Oh, absolutely. It's so atmospheric. Um, and it's it's so enjoyable to play. You, you there's It's an RPG in the best way and that every you can do so much to your character and change your place your gameplay the way you play your play style wow i said that first and then i just moved away from it your play <laughs> style so much so readily so easily and um i just love the world i love the lore i love the look and silk song looks to take the gameplay that we had it kind of looks like ori 2 in the sense of like take the amazing foundation that we built make it faster make it bigger make it make it everything uh so i'm just amped for more silk song i thought it was going to come out this year that's the only reason like i'm sort of because this does not have a release date but we've seen gameplay and i think it was supposed to come out this year so i'm of the opinion that it will come out next year um if it doesn't i'm gonna be really big old rip team cherry team cherry if you're listening i'm gonna be so fucking sad but it, just send me the beta send me the alpha i won't tell I'll, anybody i'll critique <laughs> yeah i'll, I'll I won't. tell you all the things that you did right <laughs> no the yeah uh, they don't need to tell me any they don't i don't need to tell them anything they know they did everything right and they know they did nothing wrong so i i just am enamored with hollow knight and i'm going to i feel and also the dlc for, the updates for hollow knight are incredible um i'm very excited to just see what more we can get from this world <sighs> the night for smash Put Hollow Knight and Smash, and very excited for Hollow Knight Silk Song. Okay, there we go. Gotcha. Another game that is not on my list. I knew that. Well, was gonna, I, you I knew, never played Hollow Knight. <laughs> true, but I knew I knew there was going to be a game like that in there for you. So, uh, continuing with my number three, um, another huge game, a game that has already been delayed out of its 2020 spot, uh, Halo Infinite. What are your top two? Okay, continue. <laughs> yeah, so so my top two are games that I know no, upset yeah, you for yeah. being there. No, no, no don't but, don't worry. I just want to hear. Well, well, I'll talk more about Halo Infinite. Listen, so I'm be quiet while you talk. Listen, it's another it's another essential kind of God of War kind of thing where I am played Xbox my whole life, owned an Xbox before I owned, uh, well, bought my own Xbox before I bought anything else. Um, Halo Infinite is the start of something new in terms of what they're going to be doing with that um ip and everything you know they're telling us that you've been talking about it for god knows how long it's going to be the halo game that launches and then they're going to feed more content of halo into it so like we're going to get not necessarily dlcs but it's going to be kind of like that master chief collection where whole games are put into infinite and continued uh through infinite um but we've seen gameplay. We saw a very short amount of gameplay, um, which I have let Adam know I was not very impressed with, except for the grapple hook. The grapple hook looked sick. Um, it's really cool to in, uh, kind of, it kind of reminds me of Doom and Doom Guy. And I know Adam hates that reference, kind of. Um, but, who hates Doom Guy? Whoa, 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 who hates Doom Guy? I mean, number one. The way You're I missing the mark them. a little bit because I mean it's hard to explain, but Doom Guy doesn't have a grapple hook. He has a meat hook at the end of a shotgun. It works. Good. Whatever. Point is, Halo Infinite. <laughs> Continue. Halo Infinite. The last two Halos have also soured my taste in terms of story. I have not been a fan of the story, um, but I'm willing to bet that it being the next gen Halo game that it will probably please me more than it will upset me. It being a reboot may, mm, may irk reboot me. In, in very slight terms. Right. It may... A reboot in the same way God of War was a reboot. Right. And so we'll see. Uh, but I have very high hopes. I'm interested. I'm really hoping that we do get it in 2021. But I could also see I think it we will. I think back. we will. So I know they, they whole, saw what happened year. Listen, they saw what happened with, um, with cyberpunk. I, I agree, but I also think this game is decidedly so, less complicated to make in the sense that, well, the benefit is they only have to focus it for one console. 
yes and no, but I, oh yes, that's well. I mean, I still think it's coming out on Xbox One. But yeah, but that's what I'm talking about. Like they didn't have to do it on PlayStation. PC, PlayStation. yeah. Well, I mean, it is going to work on PC, so it's just. Uh, but yeah, um, yes, I will say that I think it's decidedly less complicated when you don't have like a ton of ai walking around driving cars and stuff like that like in that mm-hmm. sense it, i think it could be a little bit easier to develop so we'll yeah. see i also think them taking a whole year means it'll be ready i think they gave themselves more time than they needed if that makes sense so which is good Dude, yeah i think they were just like fine by me they were like okay we're just gonna put it in the holiday also to be honest with you 2021 it needs to be better than 2020 just in every general area and to get Halo in 2021 just kind of makes sense to me. So, I'm a nihilist, so I think I think everything will get worse as we get older. Well, that's an awful way to think. Look so into my eyes, because that's so, just how it's going to happen. We're all going to die uh, frail and old. Adam, this is a video game Sorry. podcast. Uh, let's move on. You Number need to two, get back on topic. <laughs> uh, uh, right, speaking of things it? that aren't dying, God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> Whoa! Um, of any game on this list, I'm most excited to see what happens in this game, just in terms of story. Like you said, God of War isn't just a good game, by the way. God of War is a masterpiece. It's a great game. Uh, some of the best character work I've seen in a video game. Such an The way it pivots into a new part of the world is masterfully done and also feels so natural and uh, not contrived. So, like... I loved God of War, one of my favorite games ever, period. Um, I love Kratos. I love Atreus. I really just want to see their story continue. I think it plays so smoothly. I think it's I think the way it plays is like just brilliant uh in that regard. Like, um, and I'm excited for just a little bit more depth. I don't think I mean, I think the first game's nearly perfect in terms of how it plays. So a little bit more depth, a new tool here or there. Um new stuff to see and i think we'll like and as long as the story's still there we're fine you know like when you when your foundation is that solid there's like only a little bit that you have to change to make another masterpiece and i think just expanding a couple of things will get you there and i think uh as long as cory barlock's writing we're good like i i get that he may not be directing is from what i understand uh from what i've read um i'm actually not sure they're it's surprising that they're keeping it that hush hush, which kind of just means to me that he's probably not fully directing the game, but I still probably think he's narrative lead. He's doing some stuff. Um, he's absolutely involved. They're not going to, they'll be like, just, we'll give you your money. Just shut up and make the game. Yeah. Um, so just more God of war. That's all I need. Like, just give me more of this story. Give me more of these characters. I love them. I'm in love with the world. I'm in love with the characters. I want to see Kratos fight a specific God who I will not name, but a very specific God who is large and also has a weapon that is iconic. Uh, and maybe he gets said weapon and Ooh. will be very cool. Yeah. I didn't Ooh. think about that. Did you? Didn't That's crazy. That, that could but be crazy. He gets a weapon and he uses it and it's very cool. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly think when all is said and done, realistically, this will probably be, if it comes out, mm-hmm. very important note, this will be the best game of the year. Uh, I'm more excited for another game, but I think this will be the best game of the year uh, when all is said and done, just because I know the pedigree. I know all of it. There is, it's weird. Cause like, I don't think there's like an unknown factor to it. Like it could be better than I'm thinking, but like realistically, I know it's probably going to meet my expectations, which is exactly what I needed to do. Um, I got you. So this is where I know for a fact, like I'm going to say game number two, can I get you're a drink gonna of know, water first? No. <laughs> you're going to know what game number one is after oh, I say no. game number two. But I'm surprised that these two did not. All right. Maybe I'm not surprised that the one didn't make, make it into your list because of how you feel about it. Um, but I'm really surprised that game number two for me didn't make it into your list at all. And I don't know if you forgot about it or okay. you have a good reasoning. I probably forgot about it, but let's, <laughs> but let's go. Um, but I have Gotham, Gotham Knights. No, Tattoo. it's not in there for a reason. <laughs> okay. So the reason I have it in my list and so high is it's an unknown. It's a it's a multiplayer um, Batman Arkham game. And it, we've been so removed from Batman Arkham games for, what is it, like five plus years now almost? Uh, 20, 
2014, 2013, 2014. We're almost, yes, five to five plus years away from six, uh, six, six ish by the time the game comes out. Yeah. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, me, I love Batman. (laughs) Oh, Batman's not, Batman's not even in this game, but I do love some Jason Todd. Okay. That's fair. And so, and Barbara Gordon, uh, Batgirl, um, Batwoman, um, but Gotham Knights is a game that we saw gameplay footage of and probably the first minute of it looks beyond beautiful. It looks gorgeous. It looks really, really good. But the gameplay is something that I am weary about. And so yeah, <laughs> the reason why it's so up there for me is because this is a game that I know I'm going to play. And it's a game mm. that I really want to do I mean, I know I'm well. also going to play it. Oh, I know what your first one is now. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to, you hate me for it. I can already I'll tell. just leave the call when you yeah, start talking. Yeah, 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 no. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but, um, you know, there's so much lore and so much behind Batman and the Bat family. Um, and I think Adam might have not put this list or put it in a list because of how they treated the the release of it like the news release the uh oh no no honestly i've kind of died off of that uh i was very upset for a long time but i've i've fallen off of that and i don't want to be a wet towel but there's a couple reasons i think number one wb montreal has not proven themselves i think arkham origins is a okay game uh so you know number two man I do not like the way the gameplay looks like I just like, I wish it, it played like more Arkham. Like if, if you know me personally, you know how much I love the Arkham games. Like mm-hmm. Arkham city is one of my favorite games ever. I played Arkham Knight like four times through. I, I have a file. Yeah. I have a file that's 240%. Um, like just, I have about, yeah. Like a, I have like a, a crazy amount of hours in Arkham Knight. Mm-hmm. I love that game. I just don't think this is what I wanted. I don't like the RPG ish nature of it. Um, I think RPGs are good when they're designed to be RPGs. And I just don't think that these characters are designed to be RPGs, Right. like RPG characters. I think it'll be fun. No matter what, I think there's always this weird crutch that these games have when they put co-op in is that it's like, it's yeah. literally same with Wolfenstein Youngblood. And this is what I think this game is going to actually end up being like, is like, I still had fun with that game because I played it with you and I played right. it on co-op, but when I went back in to play that game, I'm like, this does not feel as good as Wolfenstein 2 because mm-hmm. of all these stupid RPG elements that they put in. I literally think that you can look at Wolfenstein, look what happened with Wolfenstein Youngblood. It will be almost identical to what happens with Gotham Knights in that sense. Is that like, I just don't understand why we need RPG elements in our action game. Like I get leveling and all that. I don't like when the enemies have levels. It reminds me of Assassin's Creed the gameplay aspect of it which is yeah. interesting but i also don't it know it really does when when i think about it i'm like thinking in the terms of arkham games i'm like i'm um, hesitant but the reason that's my the, thing right like because the formula worked like we had right. an arkham formula that absolutely worked so it's like and we did have an assassin's creed formula that I, you saying that gives me like a little bit like okay maybe i'm being a little too harsh because if it does end up like assassin's creed more power to it but yeah i mean i'm just like well okay maybe it does end up like assassin's creed but you know i i don't know it it doesn't feel that way to me those yeah. games made such an artful pivot like by changing so much and it's it's weird because like i don't want arkham to change you know yeah <laughs> the, the difference more... was we got one assassin's creed game a year and we get one arkham every however many years yeah right. so it's like i don't know i guess spider-man's there <laughs> Yeah, rip Arkham. the one constant <laughs> yeah. that we'll have for the next rip, rip decade. Arkham. Yeah, exactly. So, hey, man, you're gonna get the the Suicide Squad. In you're right. In a, whenever it comes out. Yeah, whenever. I was we have no idea. Probably 2022, 2023. But yeah. Um, I mean, I'm still excited. I just, I'm not yeah. excited for your number one game. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I know, I know. I'll, I'll sit. I'll be quiet. I just, I think it's interesting that uh, we'll see what happens with uh with that game i i yeah. mean if it's good i'm gonna be happy like it, again if it's less wolfenstein youngblood more assassin's creed woohoo because i love assassin's creed i love new yeah. assassin's creed um but we'll just see i'm i'm also very interested to see like 
the differences in character and like what you choose and like yeah. what yeah. that means. So I hope I can give Red Hood a better be- mask. Than oh, also the, the costumes Deadpool were really mask. bad. The costumes yeah. were like really bad in that opening. I know, and I know you can change them, but like, all right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so. oh, they were rough. Um, all right. We're down to it. Number one. Uh, we've already heard it, but say it one more time for us. And Listen, give us it's Halo your, Infinite. And it's, it's Halo. It's, it's Halo. What more do I actually need to say other than it being Halo? There's also, this game could be incredible. It could be like beyond the moon amazing. Like that's the thing. Like it could just be good. And even then it'll be amazing because Halo multiplayer is like uh, everything I need in my life. If as like, I, again, I've played five for like six, 700 hours. Um, so like, it, it's brilliant. Halo, I love Halo 5. I think the the way that game actually feels is like they have it down so right so i know that this studio knows how to make a good playing game you're right there is some story reservations that people have uh that that maybe they can address and we'll see and but i'm just i mean it's halo like i i literally like i mean god that the first couple like trailers look so so good for that game i mean I every time I see the trailers, I'm like, God, this game's gonna be so amazing. But then I watched like a little bit of the gameplay, and I was a little bit like, Oh God! But yeah, Adam's Adam's got a huge. It's, uh, ha- it's Halo. <laughs> I love Halo. It's Halo. I love. Ricky. I'm gonna name my kid Master Chief, oh. and he's gonna have to live with that. But that's not my problem. You can name it's him John, his. though. Fuck John. <laughs> that's my dad's name. My kids are gonna Did be you hear that? Master Chief. Did you hear what I said? Did you say John? Did you hear what I said? You said no. You said fuck John. I said that's my dad's name. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. They're gonna be uh... named Master Chief and Cortana, and they're gonna like it. And then if I have a third kid, God bless him because he's gonna be named the Arbiter. Um, but <laughs> Arbiter. I love Halo. Halo is everything. I bought that poster. It's not. It's not in a frame. I bought the Halo Infinite poster. I, 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 I mean, I know I'll like the game yeah. legitimately. I know I'll like the game because I know the multiplayer will be good. I know it'll be good. They haven't made bad multiplayer. Four is like eh, multiplayer, but we'll see. Like it could be the best game. It could be a good game, but I'm hoping it's the best game. And everybody loves Halo again because it's sad. Sometimes being the only person who loves Halo. I mean, I was never the only person who loved Halo, but you know, no. I love Halo. I want more Halo. Halo is, without a doubt, probably the most iconic thing about video games to me. So having a new one feels like special in a way that very, very few games can ever achieve. So I'm just, I'm excited for more Halo and yeah, it's Halo Infinite, come on. Yeah. It's Halo Infinite. I'm just amped. I, 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 the grapple hook, oh, whenever you add a grapple hook to a game, it makes it so much better. Like just look at Titanfall, just look at Titanfall. Doom is not a grapple hook, so I'm not going to say Doom. It's a meat hook. Um, meat hook. It's a meat hook. I You can only attach to enemies. No. Uh, but yeah, like, I'm just very, very, very excited for Halo Infinite. Um, I think what they had there, I think what they have is special. I think they showed it too early, obviously, and they needed that delay. So I, I honestly think that it's going to be amazing. I think that that will be, like, easily the game I most play next year. I think, I think, I'm going to make a bold prediction. That game's going to come out in like November and I'm going to have more hours in that game by the end of 2021 than any game other in the year in just a month. <laughs> in just a month. <laughs> I would, I'd probably, I'd probably bet against that just because I know God of War is coming out. Uh, oh, God not. of War, I'll it's play not... for 20 hours. I'll play Halo for 120 hours yeah. in a month. Like, yeah. I do not care. Hopefully in my life. Player, like, oh god yeah like you go like, through the I, campaign on legendary at least a couple times i'm not gonna move like i, I don't know what my life screenshots hold. came out for like the um the customization and it looks really nice oh yeah like it's those in-engine models like it looked it looked really cool so i'm just whenever i talk about halo i just want to go play halo like that <laughs> it's it's like that kind of thing like that is yeah. like special in a way that no like there's like three games that can do that um like even talking about breath of the wild i'm like I might play Breath of the Wild sometime, but like when I say Halo, I'm like, all right, time to play Halo 2. You know, like like I'm ready to go. Um, so 
we spent a lot of time talking about Halo, so... Master Chief, you mind explain to me what you're doing in the cargo bay? Sure. Getting forklift certified. But yeah, let's go. More Halo. I love it. Uh, yeah, come on. Master Chief, he's Man, it's cool. a real and shame it, that we have to end with my with my number one, because there's mixed listen, opinions I, on this. Here's the thing. For... for 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 the next five or ten minutes, it's I don't know you. <laughs> I just don't know you. So I'm just going to go like this and let you talk. I'm going to be respectful. All right, babies. Listen here. Not my number one. Number one. Uh, I got Hogwarts Legacy. And so for me, this is Harry Potter, my guy. You're making a Harry Potter game. When's the last time anyone here has played a Harry Potter game for anything? Like I don't, I can't remember the last Harry Potter game that came out. Like Lego Harry Potter, probably. Is that even a game? Is that a game? Can someone tell me that's a game? When there did that come two. out? There was one through four and four you know, and five through eight or whatever. The only, the only, uh, the only Harry Potter game that I can ever remember playing is the one on the Wii where you play Quidditch. That or the games that the disc games that you played on the PC. Um, but with that being said, Hogwarts Le- Legacy. Is an upcoming action role-playing video game set in the late 1800s in the Wizarding World being developed by Avalanche. I have a quick question. Yes, I sir. said I wasn't going to talk, but is this the era where the wizards pooped on the floor and made it disappear? Bro, what? what are you going on? Oh, you don't know about this? No. No, no, J.K. Rowling, she was like, hey. Oh, my God. When Dude, there was no plumbing. On. Come on, you're she trying like, to sabotage no, 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 no. my number one. No, she was like, she was like, when there was no plumbing, the wizards would just poop on the floor and make it go away. Bro, sorry, she continue. has no control over. You're this right, banana. you're right. Hey, listen, I'm just. Thank you, my goodness. Now, everyone, back to what I was saying. It's a role playing game. Harry Potter is one of those games. It's not sorry, not one of those games. It's one of those worlds that people want to live in. It's like Star Wars. If Star Wars tells you, hey. RPG game. It's not. It's not in the way of um, the Old Republic. It's like a first person or third person, whatever um, RPG action adventure game. Uh, people would freak out. People would freak out. Um, and it's the same way with Hogwarts uh, Legacy, where you know it's one of those worlds that you want to live in. And so for me, that's why it grips me. I have no clue how the game is going to play. No clue. Not sure what decisions you're going to be able to make in that game as a student at Hogwarts that's going to be able... Are we the next Harry? I don't know. Probably not. But, like, what events are going to happen within that game that are going to, like, you know, be considered role-playing aspects? Am I going to take tests? Am I going to have to make potions and do all this kind of other stuff? Man, I hope I get get to do the duels. I hope I get to, you know... um, My biggest thing is I want the sorting hat to be real really need that thing to be real like i can't like if it's got to like ask me questions in my head about stuff instead of just being like which house do you want to go to and it just like says what house you want to go to that'd be really lame but i'd also be really interested to see how that kind of changes the story probably not a lot i'm probably gonna guess that it's not gonna have to do a lot with like what house you're in um except for like quidditch and stuff like that but uh, I think it could be really, really interesting. Uh, RPG just pops to me. RPG is my, um, you know, genre of game that, you know, really gets to me. So uh, Hogwarts Legacy at number one, and we'll see. I mean, that'll probably make Ricky really happy that you had Halo at number one for you, and then I had Harry Potter at number if, one for me. If it's co-op, I might play it. But I don't think it's co-op. <laughs> I don't that, think so. That sucks for them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hey, more power to you. Uh, not my, not my cup of, not my cup of tea. Hey, the British say. Listen, but, if Pokemon Anniversary wanted to announce the game that was coming out, it would have been my number one. Okay, easy. That's fair. I, but I, I don't know what game is coming out. It could be Detective Pikachu, which I probably wouldn't put. Uh, yeah, where's high. your Pokemon Snap? Uh, you, you. I, oh, I don't do that. You forgot about Pokemon Snap, didn't you? I just don't play Pokemon Snap. I was never into okay, it like everyone fair. else. For some reason, Pokemon <laughs> Snap really gets people. I, that is not my, yeah, it's not my I game. mean, you're taking pictures of Pokemon. True. Could get the toothbrush thing. The the, the Pokemon the teeth Yeah, brush. I don't know what it's called. Me neither. <laughs> yeah. No. But 
I'm sure you would have had uh, Zelda up there at number one. Prob- well, oh, probably not. Probably yeah. Two. No, it would have been Halo. It would have been yeah. two. Would have been two. But... I still probably would have forced Hollow Knight Silk Song into the top three because Hollow Knight is Hollow Knight. Where's my Switch so I can pull out Hollow Knight? It's over there. I'm not getting yeah. up again. I've already done too many walking bits this show. So, so how many games did we have in total? Because, like... I can't necessarily say top uh, ten because like we well we, got, we both had Halo, we both had God of War, we both had uh, Skywalker, Death we Loop. both had Death Loop, we both had Horizon, we both had I think that's it. That's it. So we so each, we so had top, top twenty games. Five no, because five we each for 15. us. Fifteen. Five oh, of the same. Five you're right. You're right. You're right. 15. You're right. Yeah. I'm bad at math. Um. Okay. Well, top I said 15 ten. Games. So. <laughs> yeah, but. Top 15 games between the two of us, uh, technically our top 10s, but I feel pretty good about 2021. Honestly, um, I'll, I just I'll want f- Nintendo to announce. I just something. want a Nintendo Direct. Listen, Nintendo, I'm losing my mind. I you just, just got, you just got Sephiroth and, and I did and get Smash. Sephiroth, but I want a Nintendo Direct. I want a proper Nintendo Direct because they're always so hype. Um, Man, I do also right. am very curious. I wonder. I wonder. I don't think it'll happen. I wonder if FF16 comes out next year. I doubt mm. it. But that game looked for actually. Director's cut of time. Final Fantasy still, 7 remake. Some time. Oh no, that's fine. My thing is, can we not get like I, we we won't because it's it shouldn't be a thing anymore. But PlayStation and Xbox directs. Please, God, those were so bad. Those plays, PlayStation will continue to do it. Xbox will continue to do it, not in the same way. Uh, I, I just so think bad. they'll run. I understood that it was for the fact that, uh, you know, the next-gen consoles and everything, but, man, yeah. we do not need – no. I need mean, the, that the one PS5 event man. was really good. Yeah, which which one out of the thousand? No, I'm talking about the specific like reveal event was very good. With the one Morales where they literally announced Miles Morales and yeah, they announced Final Fantasy right. 16 and they announced right. like all those games. Like that you're was right. a great event. But that um, was at like what well, that was like the last one, wasn't it? It was probably they, the last one. No, the last one was when they the, released the 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 the, the price. The one the before that. the price, yeah. Yeah, the, the one before that was great. One. Even that one was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Xbox never had a great one well the one where they showed halo infinite was pretty good because they just had a ton of games um but what are you looking up right now again i'm trying to find out when it's coming out oh okay gotcha 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 honestly i i I think it's either coming out late next year or early 2022 so i'll say this if final fantasy 16 is actually coming out next year that game is my number four and it bumps death loop down i think um final fantasy summer remake uh director's cut would be dope yeah dope. i mean but that's not a, like a new game right yeah no i got you and uh, talking about when final is, fantasy though. when's ff7r2 coming out who knows it's what's it going to be called true something stupid i know it will be and it I'm could very just be part excited. two it's literally going to be called ff7 remake 2 and oh my god hell yeah that's so dumb <laughs> Uh, Namora, you madman. You madman. Ooh, ooh. Real quick, actually, let's do a bonus round. Uh, or should this be another episode? Fuck. Say, say what you have on I'll your head. I'll pitch it to you. I'll pitch it to you. And if you want it to be another episode, it can be. Okay, you ready? ready? What's going to happen in 2021? What's going to get announced? What's like, like, you know, some crazy shit, some predictions. If you want to, for like, I don't know. I don't know how long this episode's been. About an hour. It's been an hour. So we probably got to cut it off soon. The thing Say, is, you like, want to do like twenty minutes of uh, oh, what's going to happen? Who's going to who's going to do what? What's going to happen? Uh, I don't think so. I think we got to cut it off. It's been We're going to see some Starfield. Your turn. Uh, <laughs> Dragon Age. We're going to find out when gonna Dragon Age comes play? out. We're going to find gameplay. out when it comes out. Are we going to see? Are we going to see gameplay? Uh, yeah, we'll probably get okay. gameplay with with um release date okay i think we see something from starfield with a release date i think uh i think we find out more about breath of the wild 2 what's a playstation game that uh could what's a what's an exclusive that needs a new game uh oh we get um adam's favorite game what is that game called um days gone (sighs) 2 we get days gone (laughs) 
<laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I ruined. It. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, that's not Dave's a bad gone, Dave's, announcement. Dave's gone too won't, won't happen. Oh, it's uh, happening. The game is happening. Whether uh, it happens, like whether it's announced next year, is different. Real quick, official predictions. We're gonna do five. Dink. Okay. Five right now. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever comes off All your right, head. Like, do do we count for, or is it our own five? Yeah. So you're we're ridiculous. Have 10. All right. No, no, fine. it's perfectly All right, fine. fine. All right, no, 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 no. Okay. Boom, boom, no, no, boom, no, no. Boom. You can't. You can't. You can't. I did. What did I say? I said uh, Starfield. You yeah, said. I said Dragon Age release date and game. I said Zelda. Um, Pokemon remakes. Perfect. So something on the 25th anniversary. Um, I think I think this is the year. I always say it, but this is the year. Something from Splinter Cell. Mm. Splinter Cell's back, baby. Please, Ubisoft, stop making me wait. I want more Splinter Cell. Uh, Fable uh, teaser. Mm. I don't know. Really? Probably just like another teaser or something. Interesting. Don't think we'll get gameplay or what's it called? Do we want another teaser? Do we want like a Halo Infinite thing where it's like we get every, we like for three years we just get tiny trailers? I don't think Fable's that level. You know what I mean? I think I think the year it comes out we'll just get like a nice rollout. I think they have to focus on. I Halo. think we'll get game awards. We'll get game awards. That's gameplay a that's a that's or a like good release date. That's a good uh, bet. Okay. Because when did it, we saw it? Like the last uh, we saw Xbox. it in summer. We saw it in summer. Yeah. The big yeah. one. So that's uh, three. We're at all three. right. Oh god, I gotta think of another one. Oh, wait, I got another what, one. Wait, what it's was probably, my third? It's probably too Blair ridiculous. Self. Four. This one's ridiculous. Master Chief is coming to Smash Brothers. He's gonna come. He's gonna be the final DLC character in the Fighters Pass. He's gonna come out around Halo Infinite. He will be in. Uh, I think it'll be. It'll blow up the internet. It'll get everybody hyped for Halo Infinite. I think that's a brilliant move on both their parts. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, my next two are things that probably just like won't happen. That's okay, At dude. Least, like, well, let's let's see. Let's come on. It's I already forgot what the second one was though. Um. Oh, Gears of War six. You think they announce it? Yeah, it gets announced or something. What? It's been two years since five came out, or is it? I feel like they want to take a bit of break. I think I want. No, I think twenty nineteen. Like, I think they want to like give a Did like a bridge. It came, it came out last year. Yeah, came out in 2019. Yeah, yes, I think so. Yeah, I think they want to get a bridge between like Halo and Gears. Like every other year, there's one of those two that releases. Maybe interesting. I think I think we don't get a Gears until uh until it's only next gen. So like three years, two two three years. I'll probably. say at least like you get like something like a teaser or something. You mm. get like a tease. But what about another Perfect Game Awards Dark. tease? Interesting. Oh, a Game Awards tease. Okay, okay, I could see it. So Gears because those six. things because those things never actually like come out the year of or the year after. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's usually like two or three years. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. So my final one. My final one is based off of nothing. If you have your final one, go yes. for it. My final one. It's because I got a poster up in my room and I looked over because I needed ideas. <laughs> um, because it was really hard, but. I'm going to say Star Wars. They come out with a Mandalorian game. Some you type announce of, it, right? Some type of... They announce it. They don't come out with it, right? Right. Sorry, sorry, Okay, sorry. okay, they, okay. They announce, <laughs> I was like, I was like announce, okay, whoa. They announced some sort of Mandalorian um, bounty hunter. I don't know how they'll take it. At 13, probably, 13. Maybe it's like an action adventure game in the likes of the Force. Uh, sorry, not the Force Awakens. I, every time I want to, every time I want to talk about, um, no. Uh, every time I want to talk about Fallen Order, I always say Force Unleashed because it's Fallen mm. Order Force. Uh, yeah, yeah. But besides that, I don't know when it will take place. I don't know what the story would be. Um, but they had the the Django Fett game, and I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe maybe we get something else that's Star Wars related. Maybe not. I think I think there's because there, it's like the something if anniversary of Lucas Lucas Arts. Mm. So I think we will get some sort of game announced. My only my only reason why we like we probably wouldn't get anything is just because we're gonna get Lego like, Star Wars, and they probably want to like. Yeah you know spread the spread that out yeah yeah true they've they've announced a star wars game 
every year for the past couple, like squadrons too. Squadrons, yeah, yeah and fair. like uh, fall in order before that. Um, and then so battlefield front two, battle front front. So, yeah, I hope that'd be sick. Get a good blaster game, or maybe Hideo. we get our Hogwarts game, Hogwarts Legacy in terms of Star Wars. You get an RPG oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, Wars like an RPG. World. No, I mean that's probably kind of, not though. It's kind of very like, well, not an R- well. When I mean, they do that RPG. When when they choose to do a Star Wars RPG game, that thing will be like next gen exclusive. They'll never be huge. They'll never be an RPG in that way because it all has to be canon, so they can never do branching paths. Mm. That's the only issue. So it maybe the old they would be like, is. it's not canon. But like, why does it have to be canon? Because that's the whole new thing. Is that everything in Star Wars is canon? That's what like, happened I, when Disney bought them. Cal, Cal Kestis is like hardly canon. No, he's for canon. Me. No, he's but like, he is canon. Like, like, I like understand what Cal he's does, canon, but he does nothing in like the movies or the TV shows. But it doesn't shows. matter because it's been like referenced. But the point is that Cal Kestis' story, Cal Kestis' story exists, and that there's only one ending. The point. That's why it's like there can never be. That's what happens when the canon team gets involved. Is that all these games, whatever happens. It's set. It's there's no open to interpretation. It's not like Mass Effect, where like for Mass Effect three, there's a certain ending that's canon, right? No, it's like there's just one story because they would make the universe muddy. I mean, I don't like it. I'm just telling you how it is. <laughs> okay. I mean, my right. number one, Hideo Kojima announces what he's working on next. Mm, it's a horror too. game. It, I wish, a but it's a that, horror game. A game that's in the Stranding. No, Bro. it's a horror game. It blows us all away. It's going to be awesome. Also, bonus one, I think Blue Point's still working on something, and I think it's a Metal Gear Solid remake. Okay. Now that I ran you through that ringer of completely sloppy bullshit. <laughs> Off the top of the rip. No, um, good. Like, that's because realistically, that's what we want more than anything, <laughs> honestly. Like, those are, they're just, they're, they're predictions rooted in what we want. Maybe we'll true. go in depth another episode, but. True, 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 true. Well, then, everyone. That was the Good Games Podcast. 2021, uh, baby. Look forward to it. We're on to 2021. I hope you all have a great holiday, whatever you're celebrating. Uh, as always, um, if you guys can like this video, subscribe, give us a comments, all that good jazz. We would really appreciate it. Uh, let us hear your thoughts. What were your top 10 games that you're most looking forward for 2021? And what are some games that you think or what are some things that you think might happen some predictions some, some predictions. spicy takes some i'll read takes. the comments when this goes up for absolutely. a while absolutely so with uh without further ado thank you all for being here and we'll catch you in the next one peace